Hey everybody, this is Mr. Domestic with one of Mr. Domestic's quick tips where I'm still spreading joy and positivity through sewing and fabric play, just in a more condensed version. This video is going to be all about hand binding a quilt. I don't do it very often, but when I do, it definitely makes a punch. I've used it in quilts, bags, it's something you want in your arsenal. So, come along with me, subscribe, thumbs up, yay! As stated, this is going to be a quick tip on hand binding a quilt. The start of it is the reverse of the machine binding made easy. Instead of starting to sew the binding on the back and then flipping it to the front, you sew it on the front and then flip it to the back. And then I have glue basted this right here so that it doesn't move. And I can take this anywhere and it's going to be really easy breezy to stitch. So this is a dangly leftover from my previous thread. I have my milliner needle threaded put my thimble pad on my thumb because that seems to be where I push the most from. And then I am going to just join this right here with the existing one. And then I am going to hide this thread when I'm done. And I'll show it to you once after I get a couple of the stitches in. So this one is here. Just get this out of the way. And you're going to start here. So you first get here, but you start right underneath where the edge of the binding is. And then you want to catch the lip of this binding and go about five millimeters here. And then you just go through. And I'm using the same color thread as my binding, just in case, so those stitches don't show. See right here? I'm starting right behind where the binding is on the back of the quilt. Then I'm catching the lip of the binding. The idea here is to catch right on the edge of the lip and get a little bit of the fabric underneath so you don't see the stitches at all, but I'm a 95 percenter, so I'm cool if a little bit of the stitch shows. Once again, if I'm hand doing something, I want people to be able to see it. So, see, I'm just going to do a couple in succession so that you can see. This has been zoomed in, so should be able to see this. And I'll exaggerate the stitches so you can see it. Going behind, and then catching a little bit of it, like this. And then catch a little bit of it. Then I'm just going to do five stitches without talking. you what I do here. So self-threading needles are the stuff. If you've never seen a self-threaded needle, looks like that with a prong on it. It is amazing. They need to be in your sewing room. So I'm going to use a self-threading needle and I will be able to get all six right there. I missed one and so I went back and did it. And then I'm going to hide this in the binding right where that knot is. Go inside the binding right here and then pull out right here. And this is going to bury both the knot and the thread. So you pull it until you hear it pop, and that means the, the knot is in there, and then trim it. And it's gone, and no one is any of the wiser where you sewed, ta-da! So hopefully now you can either decide you want to or not hand bind, but it's definitely relaxing. I did it on my porch the other day. It's definitely something you want in your arsenal. So if you got a tip or a trick or a laugh, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and keep it positive. Mr. Domestic out. <laughs>